Hi everyone, I'm back, and uh, I actually have saw a comment. People are asking me why I don't use Trigons and Molochs. Uh, I talk very lowly of them, and this is an example of just player experience. Uh, they are actually a good unit, which is why I didn't put them in the useless units videos I did. I wanted to, but I didn't, because actually a lot of tournament lists run them, and so they are they are good. Um, but this is my just like personal reasons why I don't use the uh, Trigons or the Molochs in my Tyranid army. Even though I do have them, I just never use them. Um, basically, one of the main reasons I don't use them is because you depend a lot on reserve rolls and uh, scatter dice. And basically, when you're depending on your dice to roll a certain way in order to do good, that's usually a bad sign uh, that you can't strategically place your unit somewhere and just get screwed over by dice rolls, which does happen most sometimes. I mean, people have the perfect synergy, perfect army, and they just screwed, screwed over on dice rolls, but when you start really, really depending on your dice rolls more than your strategic planning and execution in the game, that's when I think you start, you're, you're on the losing edge. Uh, because yeah, they're really good if you get a bullseye. Yes, they're really good if they come in on turn two. That's if you're deep striking them. I've actually done it both ways. I've, um, I've tried to deep strike them, and what usually happens uh, is I usually deep strike the Moloch. I deep strike the Moloch in, and usually it scatters. I think it's a 44% chance that the bullseye will hit. So, but it usually scatters. And then he pops up, and you can't do anything after you deep strike, so the Moloch just kind of stands there. And basically, you're behind enemy lines, and the whole army turns and fires at your Moloch, and your Moloch basically dies. Uh, that's why I don't use the Moloch. And the Trigon... Um, same same thing. I, I don't usually deep strike him in ever because every single game I do deep strike him in, he, he usually doesn't come in until turn three and sometimes not even turn four. Like I said, it all depends on your dice rolls, but like I've literally had a really hard time getting him on the table to begin with. And when you have a monster creature coming in on turn three or four, that's bad because the opposing force, whatever army you're fighting, has probably already taken out all the big threats on your side of the board. So it's not going to kill him to turn and shoot one, you know, one round of fire at this big creature that just deep struck behind him because he's next turn is going to come and shoot at you. Uh, but anyway, so basically my Trigon, I, like I said, he's a monstrous creature and the model is gigantic. So getting him to get a cover save is really difficult. Um, you really, I mean, you really almost have to mod this model in order for him to get a cover save because he's really tall. Uh, I mean, basically I have to get him behind buildings and like, between, I mean, not even gargoyles recover half his base. Like, he's super tall. Um, and that's what really, I mean, I just, I never, I, I've had nothing but bad experience with them. I put them in my army when I have 170 points. Uh, some people say run two, run two, and 340 points. And I'm like, well, 340 points is for the Marlock, but yeah, 340 points for a Marlock, and that's 200 points a piece for these things. They're not cheap. And they have a lot of wounds, which is great, but just, when you deep strike them in, it's just, like I said, you're depending all on the, the rolls. You're depending to, if you put them in the reserve, you're depending on the reserve rolls. And I know most people run them in reserve. And there are things you can do to improve your chances to get them in earlier, like on turn two, but they're all very expensive. I mean, lictors don't help at all. They only help till turn three. And if you are confused by that, go ahead and look at my, go ahead and look at my uh, lector tactica that I put on a few weeks ago. And the Hive Tyrant, like I said before, it's kind of a, you can give him plus one, but that doesn't accumulate, so it's only plus one, so it's a three up on turn two, instead of a four up. It's just, uh, you depend so much on getting him in to even for him to do anything. And and even when he does, like I said, he, he can't charge, he can't do anything, so he stands there. He, he does, the Trigon Prime has a little bit of, like, a firing weapon. It's, I don't really consider it good. It's just kind of like something, oh, you know, he flies in and he gets to like assault stuff with like a strength five or he gets assault stuff what, what, what is that thing what is it containment spines yeah that's what it's called containment spines and it's assault 12 but it's like oh cool like assault 12 with a blister skill of three like you know what i mean it's just it's just like they gave him these weapons so like when he deep to like give an excuse like if he deep strikes in and he doesn't assault anything which is mainly what he's for is to deep strike him behind him and assault like a vehicle and he's actually one of the only monstrous creatures that can do that. Like, if you deep strike him in and next right next to a tank, and you don't mimic, he's right next to the t and you don't mishap. He's right next to the tank, or you can't mishap. Excuse me, if you don't scatter, you're right next to the tank. 
And even if the tank turbo boost, you can still move six, run D6, and fleet, which is nice. He's like the only monstrous creature we have that fleets. But still, like, I just had bad experience with him. Like, there's just so many, every faction has so many guns, so many guns that just reach across the board edge. And it's like, you can't get to anything. And then when you do deep strike, sometimes they don't come until turn three or four, like I said. It's mainly my like they usually come in on turn three or four. I rarely get units on turn two. And then they keep again, they stand there for an entire turn. And then as soon as your opponent goes, it's just open season on your 200 point Trigon. Or 250 point Trigon if you made him a Trigon Prime, because that's even more. It makes him even more expensive. So I, that's why I don't use them. I mean, they're really good and stuff like that. And people say, well, you can use them to deal with Pathfinders. It's like, well, you can't really because. Even with the Marlock, when the Marlock deep strikes in, you put a marker. It's not a template, it's a marker over it. But then you have to move the marker to avoid impassable terrain. And 95% of the time, Pathfinders, which are the Eldar Snipers, are on top of a building. And I can't deep strike on top of a building. It's impassable terrain, so I have to move to the side. So the template doesn't hit anything. Um, but it, they're just, I've had very, very bad experience with them. And I don't, I don't personally, I just hate running any monstrous creatures in my list. I avoid running them at all costs because they're just huge, gigantic creatures that don't do anything. I mean, or that's what they seem like when I'm playing them. They have all these abilities and all these cool attacks, but I never get to use them. I have actually never gotten... I think I've gotten my Trigon into close combat once. And I've played a lot of games, guys. A lot of games. And I think I've gotten him in close combat one time. And that was because I was playing against the Tau and he, like, rolled horribly for a shooting and didn't kill him. I think he had one wound left. But then, even after I assaulted, it was a group of, uh, was it Fire Warriors or Crisis Suits? I think it was Fire Warriors. They, um, I think one of them had a Strength 4 and killed me. Like, one of them had a Strength 4 power weapon and killed me. Might have been Crisis Suits. But, like, it was, like, you know what I mean? I was hoping I could charge, kill the whole, wipe the whole unit out, and make them take a leadership test. But no, because, again, like, those power weapons, like... You're supposed to assault infantry and tanks with these things. I really don't think you're supposed to assault anything different. Because every single time I've tried, it doesn't work out. Not to my favor, anyway. But that's the whole point of the Trigon and the Moloch. Because, I mean, they're supposed to come in behind the units. But, like I said, you're depending on dice rolls. I know I sound like a broken record, but, like, it's very, very important that you depend on your own strategic strategy to like win and not just be like well as long as i roll five sixes i'm i'm gonna win i'll be fine like if if everyone played that way it'd be a lot harder because you're not gonna roll all sixes all the time you have to actually think before you go on the battle and, and the moloch and uh trigon are really dependent on the scattered eye and the reserve rolls because if they don't deep strike on that unit or don't deep strike on that tank and glance it they're you're in big trouble you know you just wasted 200 points and that's that's the whole thing about the Tyrion army in general is it's very super unbe unbelievable unforgiving when you mess up something and it's usually something beyond your control like a scatter dice roll and that's why i don't use them. uh i'm sure i'm sure other people have had better experiences with them uh but i sure haven't i sure as i'll have not i actually have fun fact i actually have the trigon model so the the forge world trigon model so it's actually larger than the Games Workshop model. And that's the one I used to do. And that one was awesome because that one had what was called a mass point. And I don't have the Forge World book in front of me, but if I remember right, it was something like you could only hurt it with a strength six weapon. So, oh, you could only hurt it with a weapon equal to its toughness. And then when you did hurt it, you'd roll d6. And as a re uh, if you rolled anything but a one, the weapon had no effect. So that was an awesome rule. It was a kick ass rule. And it's, uh, it's one of the Forge World for the, for the Titans and stuff they have for the Tyranids. But they didn't really, they took that away. There was no mass point in the, the Games Workshop model, which kind of sucks because it did make them viable. You know, because say like you had a Land Raider fighting two Lace Cannons and an Auto Cannon on you, right? And they did four wounds. Well, those, they wounded you four times, but you still only roll for one mass point. So even if you failed the mass point, your mass point's gone. So that those four rounds of fire just got rid of your mass point. And you still have six wounds and you're good to go. That's the way it used to be, but... That's why I don't run him. He's really dependent on rolls and scattered eye, and I really hate units that are dependent on rolls and scattered eye, which is why I never deep strike Ravners. Uh, you know, taking a unit of four and then f mishapping out of cover, you know, it leaves you wide open to just gunfire and you just get killed. Anyway, um, that's basically why I don't take them. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this podcast. Uh, review requests, comments, please comment, subscribe. It'd be awesome.